Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise, and to give him all the glory. Today is the day that the Lord has me, and every last one of us should always be glad and always rejoice in it. We serve an awesome God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a powerful God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who still sits on the throne, who still performs miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And he is so worthy. Yes, he is. He is so worthy to be praised. I don't know about you, my brothers and sisters, but I need Jesus every single day. I depend on him. I rely on him because he is my resource. He is our healer. He is our provider. And he is our protector. He is our everything. He is our first love. He is the first. And he should never be the last. My brothers and sisters. That's why I'm always encouraging my brothers and sisters. That praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and on switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing. Because the God we serve, the God we praise, he watches over every last one of us. And he has it in the palm of his hands. And he is working everything out to his perfect will. That's not too hard. It's not too difficult for the Lord. When I say praise, I ain't talking about praise because you want something. And I ain't talking about praise because you are needed of anything. But I want you to praise because he is your everything. I want you to praise him because you are committed to him. You are dedicated to him. That you have a hunger for him. That you have a thirst for him. That you can't do it. You can't live without Jesus. That's what praise is all about. Not because you want something. Not because you're in need of anything, because you're in love with Jesus. And when you're really, really in love with Jesus, and I ain't talking about from your mouth, I'm talking about from your heart, from your deep of your soul, the only thing that you want to do is continue to thank and praise Him. It doesn't matter what you're going through, you're going to praise no matter what. Even if you're suffering, even if you're hurting, even if you're in the, the, the deepest of the storm, you're going to praise. That's what praise is all about. And if you have not welcomed the Lord into your home, to your life, or even your prayer closet room, and if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, I want to encourage you right now today, please do so. Please return back to your first love. His arms are open wide. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we just come before you right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me all thanks today. Give me all praise. Give me all glory. We just thank you, Heavenly Father God, for everything that you've done and everything that you're doing right now. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, how you're moving in our life. We thank you, Father God, how you order in our steps. We thank you, Father God, for your guidance and your direction. We thank you, Father God, because today is the day that you have made. We're so glad to be a part of it and always rejoice in it. We just thank you, Father God, for how awesome you are, how amazing you are, how powerful you are, God. We just thank you, Father God, for everything that you've done and everything that you're doing. We thank you, Father God, how you woke us up today, how you breathe life inside us today, God, how you open up our eyes, how you open up our ears, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Father God, for your love that you continue to give us. We thank you, Father God, for how patient you are with us, God. We just thank you, Father God, that we can talk to you about every and anything, God, that you always make yourself available for us, God. No matter what time of the day it is, God, that you always there. We thank you, Father God, for this word that we better receive. We thank you, Father God, for this powerful message right now today. That's going to keep us full today, keep us satisfied today. And there's no other place, Father God, that we be to be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God. Give me all things. Give me all praise. Give me all glory. We just magnify your name right now today, Jesus. We glorify your name right now today, Jesus. We exalt your holy name right now today, Jesus. Oh, Father God, you are everything right now today, Jesus. Heavenly Father God, I'm expecting you, Father God, to speak to us today, Father God. Open our eyes, let us see what we need to see. Open our ears so we can hear whatever it is that we need to hear, Father God. Let your will be done today, Father God. Let your words go out and should never turn by war today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, you are King of kings, your Lord of lords, Father God. Oh, Father God, 
You put everything in your hands right now today, Father God, because your words say in 1 Peter 5 and 7, that it is you who care for us, Father God. And Father God, when everything gets fall, when everything gets filled, God, we know that you will never fail us, God. We know that you will never leave us nor forsake us, Father God. Oh, heaven, Father God, allow your love to move to this place. Allow your presence to move to this place. Allow your angels to join with us in praise and worship, Father God, in this place right now today. Oh, heaven, Father God, this is your time. This is your moment. Hallelujah. Did I know for a fact that you're about to show up? Did I know for a fact that you're about to show out? I believe and I declare a decree right now today. Heavenly Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that someone's going to be healed today, someone's going to be delivered today, someone is ready to get their life over to you right now today, Jesus, and the angels are rejoicing in heaven right now, and you will, and you shake all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory, hallelujah. Heavenly Father God, this is your house, the house that you built on solid ground, the house that you built on solid foundation, the house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Heavenly Father, all Father, you are welcome right now, you're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in your sanctuary, right here on your YouTube channel, right here on your platform, right here in my sister's homes, right here in my sister's life, right here in my brother's homes, right here in my brother's life. Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for you to do a new thing in my brother and sister's life right now today. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to move supernaturally in their finances right now, in their health right now, in their dreams right now, in their business right now, in their homes right now, in their marriages right now, in their relationships right now, in their neighborhoods right now, in their jobs right now, with their children right now. Oh, Heavenly Father God, it's not too hard. It's not too difficult for you, Father God. Heavenly Father God, you know exactly what your sons and your daughters are going through what they're facing right now. And Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, to send them some help right now today, Father God. And Father God, I know that help us on the way, Father God. Oh, Father God, that you send in a rescue squad right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, let it rain down on a season right now today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I'm praying, I'm asking right now today, Father God, that you that you put them at the right place at the right time, God. Oh, God, I'm praying and believing, standing on faith, God, that you're going to open up a door for my brothers and sisters, Father God. And Father God, I declare, I decree right now today that it's done in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, you're welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in your sanctuary, right here on your YouTube channel, right here on your platform. Right here in my brother's homes, right here in my brother's life. Right here in my sister's homes, right here in my sister's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now today because you are confident. I'm asking you right now today to control our thoughts, control our minds so we hear your soft, still voice right now. Holy Spirit, please forgive us for grieving you today. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place like you know, move before so we catch the Holy Ghost fire. As we repent of our sins today, Father God, please forgive us for our sin today. Known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Clean us as white as snow. Heavenly Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sins. Thank you, Father God, for never remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Thank you, Father God, for coming through. Words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how, uh, how blessed I am to always pray, praise, and have fellowship with all my brothers, all my sisters today, one body in Christ today. Heavenly Father God, I'm here today to let you know that I'm available for praise, I'm available for service, I'm available for the kingdom, but most of all, Jesus, that I'm available for you. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, it's something that stays on my mind about you. It's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue and fruit of my lips about you. It's something that stays in my spirit about you all day long, Jesus. And I just got to tell you how I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and I shout out your holy name the way I do, G, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I pour my heart out to you every day, G, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I trust you the way I do, G, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, G, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to talk about today, honesty. That's a word that a lot of us right now today, we know it, but we don't put it into action. We know it, but we don't put it into work. Some of us right now today, we expect everybody to be honest, but we still hide in secrets. 
We want everybody else to be honest, but we still hiding things in the dark. Like the Lord don't know what's going on. He sits up high and he's always around and he's always aware. So it doesn't matter what you're trying to do in the dark. He still know what you're doing. He has heard conversation of what you said about somebody. But you want this other person to be honest. You want this other person to be straight up with you. But you can't even be honest and straight up with yourself. Some of y'all right now today, you hide in secrets. You hide in lies. And you have the audacity to sit there and smile on somebody's face. You have the audacity to sit there and still play with somebody's feeling. To still play with somebody's emotion. The whole time, you are still hiding secrets. Like the Lord don't know. Like you won't get exposed. A lot of y'all right now today, you're so dirty. You don't even realize you've been in the washing machine. You got a tired pot in there right now. Because what goes in the wash is going to come to a rinse. And sooner or later, when it comes to a rinse and it comes to a spin, don't be shocked when you get exposed. Right now today, my sisters, right now today, my brothers, I don't know who I'm talking to today. But it's time for somebody right now today to man up and to warm it up and say, you know what? I did this. How much longer are you going to continue to walk around with those lies that you carry? How much longer are you going to continue to walk around with hidden secrets? How much longer that you're going to continue to walk around knowing that what you are doing is not right? How much longer are you going to continue to walk around and not be honest to the person? And really, most of all, why are you not going to be honest with yourself? How much longer are you going to continue to play this game over and over again? Because I'm going to tell you, my sisters, I'm going to tell you, my brothers, you better put a stop to it now. And you better put a stop to it quick. Because you don't know how the Lord is going to expose you. You don't know how the Lord is going to bring this thing to the light. You don't know how the Lord is going to take you out of the wash, out of the wrench, and take you to a spin. So I'm telling my sister, I'm telling my brothers, if you hide anything, and if you are dishonest towards anybody, you better be honest right now today. You better keep it real right now today. Honesty is the best thing. Honesty is the best solution. There's no need for you to continue to walk around with that lie. There's no need for you to continue to walk around with that secret. If you don't feel the same way toward that person, be honest. If you don't want to go on toward that person anymore, be honest. If you don't want to do this for that person anymore, be honest. There's no need to continue to lie. Because if you tell one lie, you got to tell another lie to cover that lie and tell another lie to cover that lie. By the time it comes back, you've been on told so many lies, you don't been on confused yourself on what you actually have even said. Come on, somebody. I'm talking to somebody right now today. You've been told so many lies, you won't even know what lie that you told the first time, the third time, or even the tenth time. So the best thing that you can do is be honest. You can hide all day long in the dark, but sooner or later, you're going to get exposed to the light because Jesus is light, and he's going to expose you. He's going to put you right there on front street. You see that telling everybody that you ain't doing that. You telling everybody that you faithful. You telling everybody that you keeping it real. But only God knows who's faithful. Only God knows who's keeping it real. And the Lord knows that you are not faithful. And if he knows that you're not keeping it real, guess what he's going to do? He's going to expose you. Too many right now today, you already in the wash. For the dirt and the filth and the lies that you've been carrying on. It don't make any sense. You're supposed to be grown, right? Well, act like you're grown. You say that you keep it real, right? Well, act like you keep it real. But it seems like that you're not grown. It seems like you're not keeping it real, but you sure keeping it lying. Anybody can lie. But why lie when you can just be honest? Why lie when you can keep it real? Why lie when you can just tell the truth from the beginning? You ain't got to let this stuff carry on. You ain't got to, you ain't got to let this thing linger on any farther that you have allowed it to linger on, my brother and sister. You can put a stop. You can put an end to it right now just by being honest and telling the truth. You'll feel so much better by telling the truth. You'll feel so much better just by being honest towards the whole thing so you ain't got to walk around acting like that you're walking on eggshells. Like, oh, is I'm going to get caught today? If I'm going to get exposed today, you shouldn't have to feel that way. If you're honest, just go and keep it real. Just tell the truth of what it is. I'd rather for somebody to be honest with me instead of sitting there telling me a lie. 
I'm ready for you to tell me the truth instead of telling me a lie. Because when you get exposed, that's going to make me look at you different. It's going to make me look at you funny. It doesn't matter what you ever try to say to me. I never will believe you ever again. I'd rather for you to keep it real and just tell me how you really feel and how you really think about me from Jump Street. We ain't got to go on about this no more. We can sell this right now. And I don't know who I'm talking to right now today. But the Lord is about to expose somebody. You better come to a rinse, my sisters. You better come to a rinse, my brothers. He's giving you the opportunity right now today for you to speak up. How much longer do you think the Lord is going to continue to keep you in the wash? Because you're still lying about something. You're still hiding about something. You're still keeping secrets about things. And don't think the Lord don't know. You even spoke bad and negativity about that person. You think God didn't hear you? He heard you and he saw you and he was aware of everything that you did and everything that you've done. But you're trying to play it off like you so innocent. You ain't innocent, my brothers. You ain't innocent, my sisters. I'm telling you, keep it real. Be honest before you get exposed. Because when you get exposed, there's no need to be in crime. They don't need trying to explain yourself because he's giving you the chance and he's giving you the opportunity right now today to come clean, to tell the truth right now today, and to be honest about the situation. Can you be a grown man and grown woman and be honest about the situation? Can you let that person know what's really going on right now instead of hiding, instead of portraying and pretending that you really want to be with this person like you really like this person, that you really love this person? Just be honest. That person understand if you're honest with him or her. They'll get it. They might be hurt for a while, but they'll respect you at the end if you only can be honest. Amen? Amen. Let's turn our Bibles to Luke 12. And we're going to read verses 2 and 3. That's Luke chapter 12. And we're going to read verses 2 and 3. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Glory be to God. There's nothing concealed they would not be disclosed. Hidden, they would not be made known. What you have said in the dark would be heard in the daylight. And, we, and, what, and what you have whispered in the ear in the inner rooms will be proclaimed from the roof. There is nothing concealed that would not be disclosed. Nothing at all. He can hear even some of the smallest crack. Mm-mm-mm or hidden that would not be made known. What you have said in the dark will be heard in the daylight. Even you whisper in the dark, God's still going to whisper it out loud in the daylight so that person can hear everything word for word and the Lord's not going to miss a beat. He's not going to miss a sound. You better believe it. And what, you have, and what you have whispered in the ear, in the inner rooms, will, will be proclaimed from the roof, even if you whisper, even if you mumble it, the Lord still heard it. He still picked it up. Vibration by vibration, sound by sound, and it will get exposed. The point I'm making right now today to somebody, can you be honest? Can you tell the truth? Can you keep it real? Right now, you got the chance right now. Right now, you have an opportunity right now today to be honest with somebody. Get it off your chest right now. Get it off your chest. Get it off your mind. Get it off your spirit because it's weighing you down. And you know exactly who I'm talking to today. It's time for you to be honest. It's time for you to go ahead and speak up. Because you've been, you've been carrying that lie. You've been carrying that secret for quite some time. You even spoke ill will towards some person. And you got that bastard smile in that person's face. And you know that it's weighing you down. Because you know it's not right what you're doing. You're trying to play both sides of the fence. You want your cake and your ice cream and eat it too. But it can't work that way. It's time for you to be honest. Can you be honest with yourself first? Because if you can't be honest with yourself, you can't be honest with nobody. If you can't keep it real with yourself, you can't keep it real with nobody. If you're going to continue to lie, continue to lie to yourself. But don't lie to nobody else and play with their feelings and play with their emotions too. Because what goes in the wash is going to come to the rinse. And get ready. You're about to spin out of control. 
because the Lord is about to expose you. You don't want to get exposed by the Lord when all you can do is be honest and keep it real right now today. I don't know who I'm talking to today. I don't know who this word is for today. But you ain't got to tell me anything. You can just whisper to the Lord. He already know. Say, Lord, I know you're talking to me. And Lord, today is today. And my mind is made up. I've been carrying around this lie. I've been dishonest. Today is today. I got to be honest with myself. I got to keep it real with myself. And I also got to be honest toward this other person. And I got to tell this other person the truth. I cannot continue to lie. I cannot continue to carry on anymore like this. It's weighing me down. And you know who you are. It's weighing you down. And you know it's weighing you down. And if this word moved you today and it touched your spirit today, go and hit Jesus' like button. Go and hit the subscribe button too as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. I was praying that simple little prayer that God is already working everything out in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happening. Continue to hold on to his unchanged by hands and please do not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know me. It doesn't matter if you've ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. I'm serving Minister LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' glory, call in my name. I love y'all so much. Amen.